Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told y'all, y'all, we was I wasn't gonna shave until we got a guy out of the portal. Until we got a signing out of the portal. Guess what, y'all? Yeah, yeah. So look, y'all see my prime shirt back here. I got this last night. I'm in Chicago right now. Uh, we going to the to the Chicago game um, this this Sunday. Me and a bunch of guys, about 20 of us, going to the game. And um, I got this from Dick Sports last night. Prime, we gotta investigate this. I don't, I don't think this is an official merch right here, dog. It looked faded. It had a stain on it, and but it was like. 50% off, 50% off, so I just got to say, well, you're going to help me do my videos, so I got it, but something ain't right, Prime. I think they I think they bootlegging your stuff, dog. Dick Sports in uh, Bloomingdale, I think. I think it's Bloomingdale, Illinois. Something right. And it was the last one on the shelf, so I had to, had to do what I had to do. Uh, but, okay, let's get to the list. So, look, 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 look. Y'all know. Offensive line was a weak point for us, right? That's one of our focus points for, for all season. So since, let me just show y'all what we have done in the last, like, two, three weeks. So Tyler Brown, Tyler Brown was already on the team, but now he's eligible to play for next year. So that's one guy. He's already played, played for a prime, so he knows the tempo. He knows, he understands he's, he, he want to be there, all right? And he was the starter for prime at Jackson. Now we got another guy that came from Jackson, uh, Amari Ward. So he went to JUCO, and the reason why I didn't count him as it coming out of the portal, because he came out of JUCO. I came out of JUCO. That wasn't a portal. That was JUCO. So look, so now we got there's two guys that played for Prime, and uh, Amy started for Jackson. So then we signed it, Jordan Simpson. So now he's here now. Big. Top lineman coming out this year, big plus, big plus. Well, he's not all the way committed yet, but he's committed, but he's not officially signed. That's it. Okay, now we just signed uh, Akari Walker. He's he's from Connecticut. He played in Connecticut for two years with Coach uh, Mora. That's Coach Jim Mora's son, I think. I think that's right. But uh, he was a head coach for the Falcons for a while, and he coached for, I think, two more – teams in the NFL. I think he's the head coach for two more teams. The reason why I'm bringing it up because he's already played, Mr. Walker's already played for a coach that runs a pro style kind of like team. Like it's all business. It's like we're not here to hold your hand. You got you to let's go, let's go, let's go. So all right. So now that's four linemen, y'all. Four linemen that will be eligible to play next year. Three of these guys already got experience. And three of these guys have already played up under NFL kind of like coaches, right? Right? All right? It's time, y'all. It's time to cut this thing off. It's time. Wait, 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 wait. One more thing. One more thing I want to add to this. One more thing I want to add. I know this is what Coach Prime did. I'm going to show y'all something. See, this is what you get when you watch my, my, my info. You get these little nuggets that some people don't see. Some people don't even understand what's happening. So, my man, Mr. Walker, he's from the Soto High School. The Soto High School has a bad quarterback. He's a little short, but he, they have a bad quarterback. I think dude won a championship last year, and I think he's winning. He won it again this year, or he's about to win it again this year. I know he had beat Duncanville, and Duncanville was supposed to be been un, unbeatable, and he beat Duncanville, and, I, and he had a wonderful day, like four touchdowns, 300 yards, like 79% completion ratio. He's a little on the short side, but he's a baller, right? And they have another offensive lineman that's like 6'8", almost 400 pounds. Big boy, like, like he, he's, he's grabbing 6'2", defensive ends like they little kids. And, and then you can see the defensive ends just looking at the ref like, please help me. Please. So the reason why this is all important, Duncan, Duncan well, not, DeSoto is a powerhouse. These guys played against Duncanville. Duncanville has a bunch of players on their team. Now all these guys, they know each other. This is, when you get guys from DeSoto, you, it's a, it's a connect in Texas. When you get guys from Vadosta, you got a direct connect to guys in, 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 um, in Georgia. When you get guys from IMG, which um, Jordan is from, and Eric 
and uh, who white, um, both of them are from Vodasta, that's like you plugging in major key high schools, top top tier high schools that know a lot of other top players in the state. Once you start bringing all these guys in, other players are gonna say, hmm, God, they went there, maybe we should go. Maybe we should go. And if you get Georgia, Florida, and Texas at your connect states, your pipeline states, oh, it's on the popping, y'all. It's on the popping, but look, I got some cutting glue. Let me get the cutting. <laughs>